brought to you from the world above cars. We have planes. It's cars with wings. Hi guys, I'm Morgan Stradley. And I'm Chelsea Robson. And we are the Rotoscopers. And today we are bringing you our review of the planes Blu-ray. Fancy. Fancy. I liked this movie. As I'm watching this, there's great dialogue, there's great jokes, some puns. Puns, play puns, <laughs> car puns. Like, so great. I just, this one, when we did our original review of the movie, it was just, it totally caught us by surprise. Mm -hmm. And we were really thrilled that it turned out so well. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know, Planes is the movie about a crop duster named Dusty. Who would have guessed? And um, like all other dreamers, he wants to make it in the big leagues, but you know he doesn't necessarily have the equipment to you know be a world-renowned plane racer. He's just a lonely little crop hopper who sprays plants, and that's his life. Very mundane, very boring. Um, but somehow he gets souped up, but not in a turbo sort of souped up. He just practices really hard and somehow is able to qualify for this race around the world. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's basically cars. That was really odd, though. What? The qualifying round in order to race around the world was like a <laughs> mile long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you're going to do great, kid. <laughs> Good luck. We're, we're making you do a sprint to see if you can do an endurance race. Right. Totally makes sense, totally, right? Totally, totally. Yeah. There's a bit of inconsistency. <laughs> they, they tried to make it work the best that they could. Yeah. But once he gets into this race, there's all these international flyers. You know, there's a, you know, a, a Mexican plane. There's more of a French plane, an the Indian plane. French Canadian. Oh yes, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. The French Canadian plane. And um, it's really fun, and I, I like this movie a lot. Basically, once you hit the race around the world, it's kind of the plot of Cars Two. Mm -hmm. You know, where you have the different races in different, you know, countries. Um, so I, I liked it. Like, I know people like make fun of planes, but like Chelsea and I were really genuine in the fact that we liked planes when we saw it because we were like, where did this come this from? This is kind of good. Yeah. Even though it's a rehashing of Cars and Cars 2. Um, so yeah, I like planes. Yeah. And so they're coming out with another one. Yeah. Which I'm way more excited for because yeah. it's, there's no racing involved because we'd seen the racing thing over and over again with cars. Mm -hmm. And so this one, it's fire and rescue. So I think Dusty has retired from, you know, racing. So I was <laughs> like, found his new calling in life. And now he's helping out, you know, on the uh, volunteer fire squad, <laughs> yeah. basically. Okay. And uh, that's for another review. We'll talk about <laughs> car plates too. On to the movie. So the next featurette is called Meet the Racers. And this is the four main racers in the film. And it's little featurettes about about each of them, mm -hmm. so it's it's a, a broken into four parts where you get to meet Dusty, you get to meet whoever. Um, nothing special. Yeah, you've <laughs> seen them before. Yeah. So. <laughs> so the next bonus feature is called Clay's Flight Plan, and so this is the director Clay, and he's talking about the inspiration for the film, and it's a few of the other filmmakers. The inspiration for Planes, um, and, and how they were sort of, it's sort of like a making of, but not really. Um, and then Clay, in particular, he really loves planes. So he talks about why this project was really important to him and how it was incredibly special to him. Sort of like how John Lasseter is really into toys and really into cars. So it just makes sense that he was the director right. of those two films. Same thing with Clay. Clay had a passion for it and I'm really glad he got put on this project. Yeah. I liked the DVD because when we saw this in the test screening, they had this one scene that for me was like the best scene because I just, it was a musical. It, it was Franz's song. Yes, he's so. a little VW car and he, he sings this little song in the pub, you know, in between the two legs of the, one of the legs of the races. Mm -hmm. And he just breaks out into song. It's great. Yeah. When we did watch it, Morgan, you know, always I put on my paper, please take that song out of the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't quite like it. But I loved it. But So they gave us the happy medium of, like, they took it out because it really did... They listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> because it really did come out of left field. But for people like me, they put it on the Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. Because I think it was, like, already animated at that point, yeah, too. Yeah, so it was, like, we There's got only, to like, put it in two here. parts, like, two little snippets that weren't, so... Mm-hmm. 
So the next one is called Top 10 Flyers, and this is weird to me. It's mm -hmm. um, an ESPN radio host, and he's talking about the top 10 flyers in aviation history. So it's a little history lesson, which is really cool, but it's like not about planes. It's about planes, but not planes. Right. The people flying the planes. Yeah. So, so take it, it if works. you like it. That's cool. I'm sure Clay loved it. I'm sure he was like, please include it. Include it, please. Include it, please. Include it, please. I can go for it. And then deleted scenes, which are really cool to see the different mm -hmm. deleted scenes, and then trailers, which I don't count trailers for other movies as bonus features, so... No. <laughs> so we're going to end this by saying it's a good movie. We gave it about three and a half stars in general. Four stars I gave it for the dialogue because it was great. <laughs> so funny. And you're watching it. It's really good. The DVD, Blu-ray, it's the only way you're going to get it, so you <laughs> might as well get it. <laughs> Bonus features, I would rate about three stars. They're really nothing special. Mm -hmm. I mean, for it. It's better than the past. <laughs> that's true. At least they did something. So that's yeah, why yeah. I put a three. Yeah. So until next time, folks, my name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradling. And you are watching The Rotoscopers YouTube. Subscribe. So it's kind of deceiving because in the movie, when it first starts out, you think it's about this guy, this leprechaun looking guy in the back. Um, I still don't know why he's dressed like a leprechaun. <laughs> he just is, apparently.